This week on The Bachelor. I just feel more confused now than ever and like, I don't have any answers and just things aren't going right. Pete, 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 we need you to pick up the energy here. We need you to be happy when you walk in there, not a dark cloud. But, hey, what if we got rid of this leather jacket, the aviators, the Mercedes? I'll rent you an old time truck. We can get you in a flannel. Can we get him a flannel? Put you in this flannel here. Uh, you can be a completely different person. Can I do sound? my special line dance? Yeah, yeah, sure. That that works for the us. The one that starts with me groping from behind? Yes, yeah, whatever. Hey, could we just see your intro back into the house? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that'll work. Um, I'm just gonna check on the house, make sure there's still drama. It's like, you call me like, uh, sh me champagne stealer? Like, no. When you <laughs> called me a bully, you said I was a bully. I acknowledge you. Oh, so now it's about me. Okay, champagne. Ladies, ladies, we need you to shut the f up about the champagne. It's petty, even for us. I don't even like champagne. You don't I think even we like. We just need to go through this whole finasco and move forward. What the f is a finasco? Right. I understand why Pete's being a little bitch. So yeah, all that led me here. You just showed me so much. Thank you. Is there anything you want to share about yourself? I'm so happy to finally be feeling good. But, I mean, I just shared, like, the most intimate, raw, sincere information about my upbringing. That was really hard to do. I just thought maybe you would like to share something about you. Family, friends, difficult times, hopes, dreams. Anything of substance about yourself. I like shooting stars. Oh, do you want to go look at the planes? We could pick out which plane we want to fly. Sure. Yeah, let's go look at planes. Pete's date went well. I'll see if I can keep the good times rolling. See what he wants to do for the group date. Hey, who's Megan? Denny, thank you so much for being here and taking the reins on this group date. Oh my god, of course. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> okay, for my group date idea, I was thinking that all the girls could be in these like fluffy onesie pajamas and we could do like a pajama brunch. Well, instead of pajamas, why don't we make it lingerie? And instead of a brunch, it's like an ultimate fighting style pillow fight for my love. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think that's I mean, picture, picture it. There's like Feathers flying everywhere, girls in lingerie, hair pulling, and I'm standing there ringside like, show me how bad you want it. I just think it would set feminism back like, uh, like 10 years. I, I just think that the pillow fight- like, Lingerie, like, lingerie, okay? That's what 14 year old Peter would have wanted. So just please make it happen. Okay. Yeah, so that can happen. Mm. No, it's fine. It's fine, I have an idea. We can just play it off like it's my idea and have it be Demi's Pillow Fight Club. Bam! Yeah, I'm glad we were able to do something today that brought all the girls back to their childhood. We totally all had pillow fights and lingerie growing up. Definitely not just in movies and boys' fantasies. <laughs> but whatever, I won, so. Nobody can be that happy and perfect. I mean, it just seems so rehearsed. I can. And it is, but I've had so much practice at it. <laughs> so you can psychoanalyze me all you want, but I'm not going to break. I actually feel bad for you. I mean, with all that practice of being prim and perfect, you've probably never even considered that you don't really know who you are. Or what your truth is, or how to use your heart and your feelings to be an actual, genuine human person. It must be so crazy to be a robot. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Party. No, I hope he's happy today. I know. Hi. Um, just so everyone knows, I'm not feeling my best. I just ask that you be authentic and real, okay? And, and don't perform for the cameras. Just nothing for the cameras. Alright? Let's, let's have a fun pool party. But this, this whole show is, like, for cameras. I know. Like, they're everywhere. I don't even notice the cameras. Tell me everything you know about Aliyah. So Pete is dragging his feet again and like interrogating everyone. I don't know anything about her. Her behavior in the house. Pay attention to more than just that and the voice. Me? I wish he would take the hoodie off because it's um, a pool party. Jump in the 
Cool. <laughs> Tell him to jump in the pool. So you knew Alaya before the show? Jesus, Peter, you're obsessing over this. I mean, I'd rather talk about me. Alaya and I are friends. On, on camera, we're friends on camera. The worst pool party ever. Everybody's talking about me. It sucks. Pete, what's wrong? I just, I'm, I'm so drawn to her. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Do you think it's like her perfect beauty pageant answers? Uh, no, Pete, I don't, I don't think it's that. I, come on, I mean, she shows up the first night in that low cut dress and you liked her and then you know, you see her doing the pillow fight with the lingerie and you liked her a bit more, and then, you know, you like her even more now once you've seen her in a bathing suit. Do you think it's maybe the way she looks without makeup? Pete, come on. I don't know, I just, I don't know what it is. Pete, I don't... you want to bang her. That's all it is, okay? Now what the f are we going to do with this final rose? <sighs> just give it to the blonde one. Sarah C. That is a great choice. Everyone in the house loves it. No, her. no, 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 no. The Mackenzie one or whatever. Tune in next week to see if Peter is likable or interesting.